Hello guys and welcome to my live reaction watching the brand new Last of Us Part 2 trailer, the story trailer, and I am pumped, so excited for this game. If you guys have been on the channel for a while, you know how much I love The Last of Us. One of my favourite games of all time, if not my favourite, and Part 2 is so close, so close. It's coming out in June, one month away, I guess we can say that officially, on the PS4, crazy. Yes, I'm aware leaks are out there. Please, please respect your fellow gamers. Do not spoil it. Spoil this game in the comments, please, please. If you do, instant ban. May turn the comments off as well if it gets too bad. But honestly, if you want to avoid spoilers, do not read any comments online, especially this video. Just don't do it, please. So uh, let's begin it. Yes, this game is an 18. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> Baby if you played the 18. first game, it makes complete sense. Complete sense. PS4 exclusive. I know you wish things were different. It's gotta start with Joel. Ooh. Is this like a really old flashback? That's like literally after the first game, surely. Tommy and Joel. I Joel's understand. teaching Ellie how to play the guitar. Ellie! But they ain't. Oh my god. The graphics on now. Clickers are back. Please stop. Can't wait for this game. I'm literally getting goosebumps right now. <laughs> oh, I need this game right now. I'm leaving tomorrow. She looks so mature now, doesn't she? It's scary. I do this smart. Seattle. Even Jackson vulnerable. So they just get to get away with this. How'd you find us? You can't stop this. Oh. I'm damn. This game playing. is graphic. Oof. But not at any cost. That's the gun customization. Jesse, cheers. <laughs> Keep seeing this red light. I believe it's the subway, but is there like some facility or something that we go we to? Like, that looks like a facility, doesn't it? I don't know what's in it. Oh, Maybe the fireflies. Maybe. God damn, she's gone to the dark place. The dark place. You. Maybe you should have. I swear I recognize that voice. It didn't sound like Marlene did it. I don't think it, I don't think it, I don't think it was. Please do not deny again, please. please. That was some trailer. Pretty intense. Uh, like some sort of crazy horror film at one point. She goes to a very, very dark place. Very dark place. A dark place no one wants to go to. So we're going to break it down. Um... As best as I can, I guess. A lot happens in that very, very... She wants things to be different. Why can't they just go to Tommy's dam and just stay there and all be happy? I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. What happens? This looks like it's literally just after the first game. Or even during the first game. I don't know what's going on here. She looks incredibly young. It might be a flashback. Joel looks like he's pretty much... Is that the same clothes she's wearing as well? Maybe they're doing um, a supply run, or perhaps this is when they go back to Tommy's, and this is when they they work out the try and work out their relationship. I, I don't know. Doesn't make any sense. This must be perhaps it's just a flashback. I'm overthinking it a little bit. Tommy there on the left. I'm guessing that is Tommy's dam, where they're based. Uh, Joel on his guitar on horseback. Very uh, rev. Red Dead Redemption-esque, I guess. Extremely pretty. Finally, Joel gets to teach Ellie how to play the guitar. Yeah. Again, his beard looks a bit trimmer. She looks a bit younger. It's obviously some time has passed between the first game and this point, but not as far as we eventually get to. That makes sense. I wish they... This is much later on. So is that... A... So that's obviously... That, that body's completely dead. And then what does it look like? 
a runner just wakes up, <laughs> starts crawling towards her. Look how good he looks. Incredible, the beard detail. It looks better in real life. This game looks absolutely incredible. Got clickers, runners. How many are there? At least 10. I think there might be a bloater there on the right as well. I think it's grabbed by a clicker. That's um, is it Dina. We don't see her much in the trailer, actually. We might see a bit more. What happened? We've seen this bit so many times. It's obviously a dramatic point in the game. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know who it is. So, please stop what? It's clearly um, this cult has got someone. Dina, maybe. Joel. Tommy. Someone that she, someone she cares about. Jesse, maybe. She looks... This must be, I'm guessing, on potentially into the game maybe halfway after she's come through quite a battle jesus kicked in so many places scars everywhere she's got a tattoo by the way on her arm to cover up the bite in case you guys missed the first game she's immune to the infection she can obviously get mauled to death and she will die but if she gets bitten doesn't matter she is completely immune obviously that might freak people out, so she's got a tattoo to cover that by it. Something's happened here. Obviously, she's upset. I don't, I'm trying to work out if she's just upset here or whether she's been hit in the face. I know it sounds a bit crude to say, but I think she might be just a bit upset. It's been a bit of a rough day. Was that... Um, let's go back a bit. Was that Joel with the gun there? If it was or not. I remember thinking this a little bit much. Skip forward a little bit. So there's Joel. Looking mad if fan. Again, some time is definitely passed here between the first game and this this particular point. I was trying to look at if that is that no, that's Ellie. Sorry. I'll take that back. I saw the tattoo there. That is not Joel. I have a feeling we're not going to be playing as Joel at all in this game, which a little bit guided about, but Ellie obviously is an awesome character. I'm fine playing with her in this game, of course. So, the WLF, I believe, that is the, the sort of cult, the sort of group in Seattle. They control Seattle. Ellie's going there for some reason, we don't know why. But yeah, uh, WLF, I think it is. I think that's the name of the group. Hence, that's the markings. Again, I've seen this screenshot. My God, the foliage, the detail, the graphics. Oh, it all just comes together. It looks absolutely incredible. Do this smart. Tommy might play an essential figure in this game. He is very sensible, very assertive. He knows what he wants. Where Joel's a bit of a loose cannon in some ways. So hopefully Ellie and Tommy get quite close and maybe almost acts as a second father, I guess, maybe. So she's talking about leaving. Jackson is the dam you see in the first game. If Ellie goes, it it's vulnerable. It's it's they need they need Ellie. They know Ellie can handle herself. She can she's one of the best fighters they've probably got. And she wants to go. She wants to go and get revenge for some reason. There's cameras in here. Hanging bodies. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> channel, is that channel 8? Channel 3, God knows. But, so yeah, the studio. Get away with what? This is obviously a revenge game about violence. Revenge, revenge, revenge! <laughs> That's pretty much what's going on here. Got one arrow there. Need more arrows than that. Always in the first game, I struggled with arrows. Always run out so quickly. So they're obviously wearing gas masks. If we go back a step. They're wearing gas masks because of the spores. Uh, Ellie doesn't need to wear a gas mask. But if a normal human breathes that in, they get infected. Yeah, they turn into a runner and eventually evolve into a clicker, etc. So they're wearing gas masks. There's spores down here. There's infected down here. Ellie's, Ellie's fine. She's ready to rock. Okay, we keep seeing this red light. This must be maybe a facility at the end of the game, or I, I don't know. You can't stop this. Can't stop this. 
This looks like she's working on the, the workbench, maybe customizing her weapons, and then this dude turns up and gets glassed. <laughs> Absolutely glassed. Slices the throat. About to get by a gun. Ouch. Melee combat looks a lot better. Stealth looks so much better. You can crawl through the foliage, go prone. It's really good. I don't know if this is a part of the game where if you get hit, maybe you got to heal up. Or maybe it's happened in the cutscene and she's just healing up. Um, sewing <laughs> her arm back together again. Uh, I don't know if that's a, a, a major character or not. But yeah. Ellie doesn't miss with the bow, I'm afraid. Ellie doesn't miss. The gun customization, I've put up a few um, Twitter videos where they sort of show this and it looks whew, incredible. The parts you can put on, all the detail, animations. Oh, on point. To another level. Is this going to be game of the year? It's going to be tricky. With Cyberpunk around the corner as well. Avengers, maybe Halo Infinite. Ghost of Tsushima. <laughs> There's so many games coming out this year, hopefully. We've seen this a lot as well, where she's doing the whole shaky hand thing. She's murdered someone or she's seen something happen. She's going for a gun. Is it a jewel? No, it's not a jewel. <laughs> it's not a jewel. It's not a jewel. Again, this red light. What is, what is happening here in this place? I really hope you make it. So there was some, maybe like a rumor of like romance between Ellie and Jesse. Obviously, um, I believe Ellie likes Dean. I think Jesse used to date Dean. I don't know. There's a massive triangle there. That I'm sure we'll, ex we'll be explored. Subway again, gas masks. I'm guessing this may take, in, take place in the same scenario. Ellie's in big trouble. Acts of death. <laughs> I want to see that bit again. So much stuff happens. It's crazy. It's just like... Boom, 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 cut, 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 cut. Some sort of shopping mall. I'm guessing this is actually at the start of the game. They're trying to do a supply run, maybe, for Jackson. Maybe, I don't know. Definitely a subway. So this guy gets knife to the throat. Lovely. He dead. Joel, is that a little hatchet? That guy's dead. You can see... Every time she kills somebody, she sort of loses like a bit of herself. She's really going to that really bad, dark place. This person looks completely innocent. Oh, Ellie, fire off a shot. Who knows? This guy might be the leader of the WLF, the sort of Seattle cult or whatever they're called. Whoa. Hello. Jesus. I'm guessing that is a spike bomb or something she's left it down on the floor he's walked past it kaboom shame again the red light what is happening here that guy just got owned so if we go is that i just want to see if there's like um infected sort of mushrooms in this red area i know it's a bit random but no that's just rubble there and that explodes is that Maybe signs of infected. Is somebody by the door as well? One sec, somebody is definitely by that door. What is going on there? Like cowering away. Boom! <laughs> Sit down, fool. Straight to the chest. Make sure he's definitely dead. This was a part of the first game where you could obviously grab um, an enemy, hold them hostage. Of this is part of a cutscene, so. Jesse again. Dina. Tommy and Ellie. Again, they're probably getting a little bit closer. Again, more of a father and daughter relationship. Massive Hummer. Chasing down Ellie. Bit of a car chase. What is happening here? I don't want to know, but I'm guessing she strangled somebody or just hit them in the head over and over again. Potentially. <laughs> She's gone to the dark side, my friends. We could have killed you. Yes, yeah, you could have. Maybe you should have. Yeah, some sort of crowbar, metal, lead pipe thing. Boom! Across the head. Done. Over. Complete O. So that, guys, was the story trailer. First time I ever saw it in this video. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty intense. It's showing the, the dark side of this game. 100%. I feel like, I thought it was it Neil, I think Neil Druckmann said, 
he didn't like the idea of the game being fun <laughs> and it does get i do get that sense it's it's not gonna be it's gonna be a fun experience it's obviously going through the gameplay but in terms of the story beats it's gonna be pretty in your face humans aren't always nice i guess anyway thank you guys for watching leave a like on the video i don't tend to do these things often these sort of reveal impressions first live react things i don't tend to do them very often if you guys want me to do them more let me know and i uh, will see you guys soon bye bye